Hi guys, I'm Shmi and this is the fifth day of the Where's Shmi Euro Tour. We had a great day yesterday in Dusseldorf. Thanks to everybody who came to the meet and greet. It was brilliant. Today though, we've got a few things lined up and we're kicking off here at Pace. Pace supercar dealership nearby Dusseldorf. Jolt Rice Koenigsegg representative for Germany. The Agera here that we saw in the last few videos. Awesome. Twin turbo V8, just like the McLaren technically. A little bit faster, 970 horsepower. Anyway, I'm going to jump on inside the dealership and have a quick look around. In the door then, first thing you see, two 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countaches. Black one with a wing, red one without. And then we have the CCX edition. We were with yesterday at spring event. Sorry, not yesterday, the day before. But then we have an Aston Martin DBS. Porsche 997.2 GT3 RS and a 991 convertible. But now we'll head straight upstairs because that's where the fun really begins. So in the last few weeks, Pace have had a number of awesome cars in. P1s, an extra Koenigsegg. Pretty epic, so straight in front of us. Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead, upstairs. Ferrari 612 Scaglietti. 458 Italia. Predecessor, 430 Scuderia. And then an F40. Awesome. Mercedes SL63. GTR Alpha 9. So, 800 horsepower. Two R8s, V8 and V10. Now, just look at this side. That's pretty cool. Porsche Carrera GT, Bugatti Veyron, and a Merck SLR 722S. I like all the kind of exact bits and bobs and fun things around here. <laughs> How delightfully random. But yeah. Some pretty cool cars in here at Pace, I think. Nice to come and have a look. We're heading off next to Manhart Racing. Stop number two on today's tour, Manhart Racing. Manhart are famous for their BMW engine conversions and tuning. Most specifically though, we're going to be taking a look at this, the MH6 700, which is a 734 horsepower M6. So to get that, it's got a new air intake system, downpipes, exhaust. And I think that's gonna be quite a lot of fun. But as well as that, I'm just gonna go and take a look in the showroom. There'll be a separate video about the MH6 700, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. Looking forward to even just hearing how it sounds, let alone how it goes. So let's just wander into the showroom. Immediately in front is an E92 M3. ESS supercharged, 630 horsepower. up an older one fully restored here Manhart's obviously do work with other cars so they've fitted this prior design body kit on this Mercedes CL600 just a Ferrari just because Alpina so this 3 series started life as a 328i before it had a V8 installed. So a lot of Manhart's work is, is on the engine side of things. So this is where it gets interesting. Another Alpina. Here we have an M3 Touring. It's an M3 Touring that has the V10 from the old M5. I'm sure that goes. And BMW performance seats just to make the ride a little bit more exotic. Something quite cool about mega powerful estates, isn't there? And then Manhart's own sort of race car. E46 M3, again, with the M5's V10 in front. Not bad. So they do a lot of work in this space. 
boosting the performance to insane levels of various cars. So it's cool to come along, but uh, it's time now to go out and have a look at that um, MH6 and see quite how much fun that is before we head over to the Nürburgring later. So let me go get in. in the workshop at Manhart after a great drive in the M6 and there are two cars in here I want to show you. The first is this M3. Um, as with everything around the front at Manhart, it's not just a normal M3. This is the engine from the X6M. It's going to have 800 horsepower. So uh, no shortage of power there. Just fits. And then alongside it is a E93 3 Series being fitted with the M550 diesel engine. That's good for 900 newton meters of torque. Tri turbo. It's just being sized up here for fitment, just to check it all goes in well before we do a little bit more work and finish that off. But uh, make sure you also check out the two videos that are coming of that car. Full detailed overview of the car itself, and then we go out for a drive. But uh, it's been a great visit here at Manhart. Thank you very much to them for having me. Next stop today though, we're heading over to the Nürburgring to go and visit RSR Nürburg and nervous is an understatement. Let's get back on the road. On the Autobahn then, and this is an unusual sight because I'm actually in the passenger seat. Not many people I'm going to trust and allow to drive my car, but for this journey, for this trip, I'm joined by Mark, my friend, who is helping me with filming videos and right now we're going over well, around 200 kilometers per hour on the Autobahn. Very smooth for the process. But, uh, I think I might have a go going to see if I can uh, put on some speed on the autobahn as well in a bit. We're heading over towards the Nürburgring, of course, so uh, it's interesting to see. It's kind of weird being in this side of the car, to be honest. I do some random things on trips like this, like passing your rear view mirror so you can see backwards. It's a bit of fun, but uh, Mark's doing all right. Let's keep going. Just arriving in Nürburgring, there is the castle on the top of the hill. Looking forward to the first ever run in the McLaren. Good drive with uh, Mark at the wheel. And uh, yeah, here are, is the entrance to RSR Nürburgring. Here we are outside RSR Nürburgring then. RSR basically teach you how to drive the Nürburgring, driving tours, supercar tours, all sorts of things. Obviously they have their demo McLaren 12C out there, parked next to mine, just taking some photos. I'm just going to do a cheeky wander into the car park though, because they have a lot of cool cars dotted around. M3s, a load of GTRs tucked in here. And all of these cars are things you can come and do as well. Um, they invite, you know, any level basically, loads of Lotuses at the back. UK Reg GT3 RS. Cool. Bunch of Toyota GT86s. Pretty neat. So uh, yeah, I'm basically going to go and do my first ever lap of the Nürburgring. First in the McLaren. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna make a whole piece of out of this to show you my first lap, my second lap, and then driving um, following someone who's going to basically teach me a little bit more about how maybe how, how I'm supposed to go around. But uh, that's all going to be quite exciting. <laughs> um, a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Car set up there. Um, it's a bit windy here now though. Um, but uh, I guess it's time to go and get in the car and head on out. Let's see how this is going to go. Let's go.
back at base and never has anything been more satisfying. Three laps round the Nürburgring at Nordschleife. McLaren 12C, such a good car for it. And following them in the last lap has been brilliant too. So make sure you stay tuned for the full video of that. But we're just gonna go in, copy some files over and then get ready for the journey back into town. Back to the hotel stop and what an exhausting day. I'm absolutely shattered, it's already late. Videos to be edited, you don't see that side of things but a lot has to go on to get all of these videos up every day. It's good fun though, enjoy it and all of you watching it makes everything worthwhile. Today, Pace Germany, Manhart Racing, driving the M6, that was good fun, little blast on the Autobahn. Then blitz down with Mark at the wheel to the Nürburgring before I did my first ever lap. And um, a few hours on, Absolutely delighted to have done it. What an experience. Wanted to do it for ages and I have. I uh, had a quick look at the video footage and my last lap was nine and a half minutes. So that's quite cool. Wanted to do it under 10. You're not thinking anything about that at the time and obviously having a car as quick as this one made it all a little bit easier. May not have it around the corners, but hey, first ever time. Gotta, gotta have a go, right? Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're spending the whole day with Brabus, which is gonna be good fun. Um, a little, uh, some fun videos to come I think from that before we get straight on the road down towards Stuttgart. So uh, nothing happening in Stuttgart tomorrow but we're going to do a fan meet as well there at the uh, Motor World. So check out the shmi.com, shmi150.com website for info about that. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in Stuttgart. Um, but yeah, exhausting day. Time for me to go hit the, uh, hit the bed and I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers the start of the 2014 Wes Schmee Euro Tour. There is an epic adventure ahead of me 